So YouTube, I'm back real quick with a little update on this box shipping. A uh, filler pieces finally came back in for the front and the back. So I'm gonna try to throw these things on today. <coughs> I ordered the, the, the bumper filler from two different places. So you know, uh, I got the back. I got the back from uh, eBay. I pray these things. I pray they work. And they was seen the gray one all the way. You look get the black ones. So I think they all the same. I ain't ride no box shit without no filler pieces, man. You gotta have them. These filler pieces. Like I said they for the back. Right here in the back corner right here. They go up in the go like that. You gotta go up under the car, take the bump out with it, however you wanna do it. I might show y'all if I have time. I gotta kinda hurry up today, but uh, I might have time to show you. Uh, it's that front bumper filler. They go for the front. If you don't know what the, the bumper fill is, let's go for the front. Like I've seen in my last video, you cannot ride a box Chevy without bumper fillers. There ain't no way. There ain't no way you can ride it. I can't I can't pull up at no car show, none of that crazy shit. Wet paint, whatever you got on your car, and don't have no bumper fillers. You gotta have that. I only paid, I think I paid uh fifty-two dollars for the uh for the front. I think I paid like thirty, thirty-eight, forty dollars for the for the back. But um I know people gonna ask me why I got it for them, so what I'm gonna do is at, this, at the same time when I'm talking about these bumper fillers, I, I'll put it on there at the bottom of the screen so y'all can pull it up. Y'all order them bumper fillers, man. Y'all need those bumper fillers on the box. You cannot ride a box here without uh, bumper fillers. And another thing when I find out about my car, when I put that uh, heater core on there, I didn't pick the little black stuff around the heater core box. When it rained, man, it got down. A lot of water got on my flow. Yeah, a lot of water had got on my flow. It ain't on there now because I cleaned it up, but I got to go back and put this stuff on there. I bought the stuff already. I just opened it up. I ain't had time to put it on because it got dark, so I'll do it today if I have time. You know. I'm talking about it was so much water, it was all on the back seat. Not the back seat, but on the back flow. What you see, I still got a little wall on the back floor. I ain't get it all up yet, but I'll get it up. Box still run good. Uh, it ain't smoking no more. Like I said, it. Like I said, it was. Like I said it ain't no smoke at all. Smoking gone. No smoke. But I still got a long way to go with the box, man. I'm taking my time. I ain't rushing to do everything at one time. You know. Because I got other stuff to do, man. I'm trying to go on more trips this year. All kind of other good stuff. So, like I said, I'm taking my time on it. Doing little stuff at a time. Do it when I can do it. Right now it's running good. I drive it every night, then around the block to the store or something like that. I still ain't got no tag or insurance or none of that shit on there yet. I ain't, I ain't doing that until I get it completely right. I don't have to drive it right now, so I really don't really be standing this yet. Got the Lexus over there, so you know.
Steaks still look good. You know, I said though, I'm finna cut the thing off. I might cut it back on. Let y'all, I might let y'all see. We put these bumper fillers on. Like I said, I'm kind of running out of time today. Got some stuff to do. Got basketball practice with the kids and all kind of stuff today. So, oh, um, I'll get back with y'all. Let y'all see the bumper fillers on. All right. All right, y'all. Y'all want to pick these back bumper fillers on. They're going to be the three bolts. They're going to be on the back of it. They're going to be right here on the back of the box. You got one at the bottom. You got one in the middle. You got one up there at the top. How you put those, the back bumper fillers on. And uh, I'll show y'all when I get them on there. Alright, y'all yeah, got the bumper filler on. I put the bolts on yet. Like I said, you just stick the bumper fill up under there. You have to wig wiggle it a little bit because you know, the, the boat hole will be resting sudden so you have to get it in inside the hole pretty good. But uh, I ain't got to tighten up yet because I still got the boats right here. So I just stick it in to show y'all how to get it in there. And uh, like I see what's going to get up on there. As you can see, uh, that's the bottom hole. That's the middle, and that's the top. And then you just put the bolts back in it. Man, look at my exhaust. That shit gone. Even got a, got a beehive or something in there. A little rough up in here. Wow. But anyway, all this stuff got to go anyway. Got to do a lot. Like I said, got a lot of stuff to do to it. Uh, okay. But uh, I'll be back. I'm going to do the other side. Then I'm going to try to get to the front. And I'll show y'all how to put these bumper fillers on the box. Alright. Alright, yeah, I got the bumper filler on in the back. On this side. I'ma tell you it ain't it ain't easy putting them bolts back in with their bumper on. If you want to, you can take it off. If you don't, you just do it the way I did it. Oh, um, it's on there good. It ain't coming off. On on the problem I had getting the top bolt on. That top bolt is real hard. It ain't enough space in there trying to try to put it on. But um, as you can see. There you go, I got the bolts on. I forgot to tell y'all about the little bracket part right here. If your car fit, uh, original should have that bracket on to hold it and, and place it, it won't go nowhere so it won't bend or nothing. But if you can see that top bolt on, up there, I got it on but I just ain't got it tight. That's as tight as I can get it right there. Can't get it no tight, I ain't got enough room up under the car. But uh, if you take the bump off, you can get everything tight. But uh, I just didn't feel like taking all these bolts off, the, off this bumper. It's a lot of bolts to take off. I ain't got time to do all that. But uh, I got it on there. Like I said, it didn't take that long, but it take a little time. You got to play around with it. <laughs> and uh, I used the uh, I used 11 for both. I had different levens and different sockets and all kind of stuff I had. But uh, 11 will get the bumper fill on. So I hope hope the video will help people put their bumper fillers on in the back. I'm going to try to get to the front. But I gotta, I'm going to do this side real quick. I ain't, got no bump, I ain't got no bumper fillers on the back or, or, either, or the front. So I hope the video will help y'all out, man. Y'all get them bumper fillers because... We can't ride in the ball game like that, man. Like the bumper filler. All right, y'all stay tuned. I'll be back in a minute. All right, one more time, y'all. I got the other side on. Like I said, three bolts. Either take the bump off or keep it on. I kept it on. So funny, though. 
Gotta have them bumper fillers. Bumper fillers on both sides in the back. Gotta have them. Now I'm gonna try to work on the front. So y'all stay tuned. I'm gonna look at it real quick. See if I still can remember how to take it out. I ain't did it in a long time. And I'll show y'all how to do that front too. All right, stay tuned. All right, I start working on on the front. I see some clouds that look like it want to start raining, but it probably don't do now. But anyway, I'm working on the front, the front uh, filler. I'm trying to hurry up for my kid got the bug. I got some stuff to do today. But anyway, I'm gonna show y'all something real quick. I'm gonna take the front clip out to put these fillers on. Oh, you got two bolts right here. One and two. You got two bolts right here. One and two. I took this bolt off right here. I'm not sure if I need it off. I think I do. Yeah, I do need that bolt off. All right, let's get to the hard part. It's four bolts up under here. Okay, you see that that bottom one down there? That's one. Uh, see. This one right here at the top, that's two. Then you got one in the corner down at the bottom, and you got one at the, towards the top right there. If you can see way at the very top, so it's gonna be four bolts holding that little holding the clip up in the front. One, two, three, four, four bolts. I haven't did this side yet. Uh, I think I'm gonna have to pull that better out to get to it, but just wanted to show y'all real quick. Where the boat's at, and I'll show y'all the this side. I'm gonna take the battery out. All right, all y'all, right, one more time. Like I said, the four bolts on this side over here by the battery, four hold four bolts on the side. The only four bolts over here on this side, and they went way up in the corner over here, so you got to get out four bolts. Then you come right here at the bottom, right here, it was a little smaller boat right here. For the light part, so you got to take this little, this little washer boat thing off right there, and right there. Like I said, it's a boat right here, right up under the, the hood or uh, popper thing, whatever you want to call it. It's a boat right here, and there's gonna be a boat way at the bottom down here. So you take those boats out. That's all the boats I got. Four for that corner, two for that corner right here. Uh. These four go over here in the corner. These two go over there. And these two bolts right here go right here and down there. So now I can just pick up the whole clip. Oh yeah, I gotta take unplug the lights. Unplug the lights and then we'll be ready to go. So I'm gonna show y'all how to hook, hook this up in a minute. Just give me a second. Alright. Alright, check this out. Boat here, boat, these little boats going all the way around the back of it. These were the, gotta take these off so you can put the new bumper fillers in. And we got one wheel up under there. See, I just greased it up, just put some WD-40 on it. So they come right on off. See the holes at the top of the new bumper fillers? Easy, real easy. Come on, y'all, let me put these bumper fillers on. Alright, so when I take them off, I put the new bumper fillers on, and uh, we're going to mount that thing back up. Easy. Let's go, let's go. Alright y'all, there's still some more stuff I had to tell y'all. Uh, you got to take these bezels off, which you're going to have three bolts in the back. They're going to look like, I got this stuff here a well, but... They're gonna like these, you're gonna take these off and then the whole light gonna fall out. We got three of these in the back and the whole light just gonna fall out. And then you're gonna have to take this part out so you can get all the all these so you can get the rest of the, the bumper fill out. So you have to wash this stuff, but um they're gonna look like this. These four gonna be in the inside of the bezel. One, two, three, four. I'll take that out. So I'll be back when I can put all this stuff together. I'm gonna wash this stuff up real quick. It got a lot of dirt on it. 
So let me clean it out real quick. I'll be back. All right, I got everything put back together. See, I got the bumper fillers on. Got everything back together. Had to spray a couple of things off. It was real dirty. But as you can see, the bumper fillers is on. Just got to put, put it back together back on the car. All right, y'all stay tuned. One more thing real quick. See the side piece right here on the side right there? They go right here on the side. I'm gonna take these bolts out. Got three bolts that need to come out. So I put it back on. on both sides. Alright. Alright, y'all, I'm finished. It took me a good little second. I'm trying to get dark on me. As you can see, or whatever. Hopefully, y'all still can see. The bumper fillers is on now. You know, I look at a hundred time build them with those bumper fillers. I said, I can't ride like that, man, without no bumper fillers. Gotta have those. I put the battery back in. I said, the back on. Shit, we in now. Got a dip. Alright, so uh, keep y'all tuned, man, for the next stuff that, I, that I'm going to do to the box. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do next, but uh, i trying to do a little some of everything to the box, trying to get it right. Uh, Alright, y'all just keep me on the next time, man. I'm tired, man. I have to go do basketball practice and all kind of other stuff, man. So I'll catch y'all later. King Joshua. All right, I'm out.